Cheney here. Welcome to another Saddle Makers Minute. Uh, I've got a couple match roping saddles here. I'm fitting the skirts in the first one. I've got the skirts wetted and fitted in underneath the tree, nailed at the front in the gullet part, and then tacked up in the back here. At this time I'd like to show you how I um, fit the skirt into and around the bars. Good morning. Take just a minute here and flip this tree up on the bench on the sheepskin. I've spent about 20 minutes wetting the skirts and I've got them tacked or nailed in with a shingle nail in three different places here. I usually start in the, uh, the middle right here and make sure I've got the skirts kind of centered where I want and from the tree. Um, this underneath the riggings here is an inch and three quarters from the front of the skirt to the front of the tree. And then the next thing I do is use my ruler from the center of the horn to the, um, I've got a little dot in the center of the candle at the top and I find the, make sure the skirts are in the center and then I put a nail, shingle nail on each side there and make sure it's about where I want it. And then I come back with one of my favorite hammers here and just take and uh, start at the back and work around. You can kind of feel where the tree is. This is nice and wet. See, I don't have this, I'm probably out like two or three inches at the most with uh, water. It takes about 20 minutes to get that wet like I want it using a sponge with the skirts flat up on the, on the bench. And what I like to do here is just kind of shape around the, the saddle tree bars and not overwork it, but just kind of work this leather down. It's, it will fit the horse a lot better and let the, the saddle tree work like it should. The leather I'm using for this saddle is uh, Wicket and Craig and it is 13 to 15 ounce saddle skirting. Okay, I've kind of got that shape like I want. Now I'll take and start right here with the shingle nail, angle it in so it just barely catches the bar and then I bend that down just a little bit. Step over about three inches, three to four, somewhere in there like that. Everything seems to be going pretty good, like I like it. I'm going to step up here and put one at the top. That nail is bending, so pull it out. Okay, I'm going to step up to the front and do the front of the bars. I like the way things are going here. The, the uh, saddle skirt is nice and flat. Sometimes I'll end up with a pucker maybe right here that I have to kind of deal with and stretch this skirt out. But this is going real good. Uh, so I'll put a shingle nail here at, a, at an angle and then I tap it down. That helps keep that skirt formed. And then after I get these skirts fitted like I like, I'll set this up on the uh, end and put this in front of the fan and let it dry about a half a day before I come in and um, fit my saddle seat in. I like to keep everything smooth here. If you feel any humps or anything, come back with your scythe or whatever and work out any hump. This is probably this is pretty important right here that all of this uh, bar is just really smooth right here without any humps in it. Now I'm going to flip the saddle around and start with this skirt. And while you're doing this you might want to keep in mind to keep your skirt square at, or uh, make sure they're even at the back. And 
another thing you want to keep in mind is your work. I mean, try to do it as neatly as possible and not leave a lot of hammer marks. I like to come back and kind of work those out. It just makes a neater looking custom made saddle. Okay, see I've got just a little pucker right here, but I'm going to work that down in a minute. I'm going to start right here, and that nail doesn't have a head on it. Right there. I'll raise this up and show you. See, I'm probably up about a half inch up into the tray and I put that at almost uh, I guess probably a 45 degree angle Going good. Got a little pucker at the front I'm going to have to look at. I'm going to leave that like it is. No, this seems to be pulling up, but that's pretty common. As we continue here, I'm putting a shingle nail right here. Then I'm going to take my hammer and tap around that bar. And Now I'm going to set this over on the saddle stand and see what it looks like. Kind of shape the skirts up a little bit in the back. Okay, what I like to do is get at the back and make sure the skirts are shaped up like I want them. This is a custom made roping saddle for J.D. Yates. I'm building two at this time for him and uh, actually I built his son a saddle a couple years ago and he ordered two more um, based on that same design and everything. This is a probably a little more uh, modern kind of a skirt you might see in a roper but uh, the cutouts I've seen saddles that were made back in the 40s that had shaped to them so really it's nothing new but it is uh, uh, kind of a modern looking um, skirt as far as the way the shape is in the front and the back um, and uh, I kind of like the way these skirts went in there and uh, the way they're shaped in the back and the way they're fitted around the tree I've got the uh, rear housing already tooled I'll show that to you um, well in fact here's the back rigging pattern I'll work on this a little bit before I actually cut the leather out and um, then here's the rear housing I have tooled. There's a, just a little bit of fitting for that left. And um, the fenders are already wet and twisted. I've got those ready to go in. I put two and a half inch stirrup leathers on those. And uh, that's the way that'll look. Um, after the skirts dry for about a day or half a day, when they're just firm enough to really dry, that's when I'll come back and um, fit the seat jockey in um, and then put the design on it. And then after the seat jockey is fitted in and dried, that's when I come back and carve my design on the swell. I just like the way it looks and I can lay the border out a lot neater 
by doing it after the seats fitted in, then I know exactly where I want my design to fit in there. Um, 